Hours after China relaxed its COVID restrictions for travelers, today the U.S. says it is now considering coronavirus measures for travelers coming here to the states from China amid that rapid surge in cases there. Now, we told you just yesterday that in the last 20 days, Chinese health workers say about 250 million people in China, that's about 18 percent of its population, have been infected with COVID. Last Tuesday, they say the leaked notes indicated that 37 million people were infected there. There. Newsmax contributor Gordon Chang reacting to the news in some tweets here, writing in one quote, the CCP is about to unleash another killer wave of COVID-19 on the world. Please stay safe. Also, just because China wants to spread a new strain of COVID-19 does not mean we should make it easy for them. Close borders to China arrivals before it's too late. And joining us now to talk about this is Gordon Chang, the author of The Coming Collapse of China and the Great U.S.-China Tech War. Gordon, great to have you in today. Thank you so much, Bianca, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So you're not mincing words there um, in your tweets. Uh, still, the U.S. just says they're considering this. We know Italy today says they haven't stated now mandatory coronavirus testing after, you know, two planes land in Milan and half of, on each plane are, are COVID patients. What should the U.S. be doing today? The U.S. today should be prohibiting all arrivals from Chinese soil, whether they're directly from China or through third countries. The problem here is that China has not been sharing genome sequencing. They're not they're, they're also lying about their COVID statistics. So we don't really have a great idea of what's going on. And yes, you could test every passenger who arrives. But the point is, we don't know what we should be testing for. So until we do, I say American lives are much more important and we should put them first before the, um, the interests of Chinese tourists. Do you think that will actually happen, though, under the Biden administration? I mean, he's jetted off to the Caribbean today. Our southern border's wide open, Gordon. Yeah, no, I don't think that it's going to happen, but this is what should happen. We got to remember that in 2020, China lied about transmissibility of this disease. They knew it was highly contagious human to human. They told the world it was not. And then while they were locking down the central parts of their own country, and I know lockdowns are controversial, but it shows that they thought this was a way to stop the disease. They were pressuring others and not to impose travel restrictions and quarantines on arrivals from China. So you put those two things together, they deliberately spread this disease once. They're doing it now. They know that those passengers going from China, uh, starting from January 8, are going to have this disease. I, I just don't know what to say. The Biden administration needs to start protecting American lives. Uh, you know, and the numbers there are staggering, and uh, they could be even lower, you know, 18 percent. It could be even higher, Gordon. I want to leave that to the side because I do want to get your reaction to some news today out of Taiwan. You know, China was showing more aggression towards Taiwan in, in the past few days. They carried out those military exercises, about 47 aircrafts, aircrafts across the Taiwan Strait. They called it a strike drill. And now today uh, we have Taiwan announcing it will be extending mandatory military service to one year. That's up from about four months, starting in 2024. That's still a ways away, but obviously Taiwan is in preparation mode here. Uh, what's your read on this? Well, it's good they're moving to one-year conscription, but um, they've got a problem. They don't have non-commissioned officers. They don't have enough officers, actually, to, to handle the wave of conscripts. Um, so they need to do a lot. And, you know, by the way, there are a lot of retired Marine sergeants um, in this country. I think we should be uh, giving them incentives to go over to Taiwan. But, you know, obviously Taiwan's moving in the right direction. It's not moving fast enough. But we also got to remember that the United States doesn't have a sense of urgency. There's no sense of urgency in the Oval Office. And there's no sense of urgency at the top levels of the Pentagon, either Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin or the three and four stars. So we're in trouble here because the Chinese are actually preparing to go to war now. I'm not saying they will, but I'm saying they're preparing to. We can see this from all their activities. Yeah, and obviously um, I do want to, you know, when you have Xi and he knows that we are, you know, so focused on what's happening in Europe, what's happening in Ukraine, uh, how much do you think the timing of when they could go into Taiwan uh, in the new year? I mean, what is he taking into account now with where things stand? We know Putin says he wants peace talks, but it still looks like a very long time away before we have any resolution in what's happening in Ukraine, sadly. I think what they're looking at is even the starting of peace talks is encouraging Xi Jinping to do uh, what he wants. And, and we've got to remember, this is not just theoretical. 
I mean, this month, there was a large Chinese incursion into India's Arunachal Pradesh, the Tuang Clash. Also, um, uh, there have been Chinese vessels loitering in Japanese territorial water. There's more pressure against the Philippines. So this month has been quite, uh, quite one for Chinese belligerents. So as they have more and more problems at home in China, they're becoming much more uh, provocative externally. So we've got to be prepared. But we have a Washington establishment that is absolutely clueless. They're asleep, as John Kennedy said, in a different context in the 1930s. Mm. Uh, finally, I do want to get your take. Uh, we've been talking a lot about TikTok, and uh, we know that the concerns, even the FBI says it's monitoring data uh, here from people. House of Representatives uh, did say managing devices that uh, they have will be banned. Uh, there could be wider laws banning TikTok here. Uh, how soon do you think it is before we see a total ban on TikTok devices, at least, you know, the ones that our government uses? Well, that will happen relatively soon, but that's only a small step. Um, the Biden administration is negotiating with TikTok over uh, data security provisions, which would have essentially the federal government have a big say in how TikTok is run in the U.S. There's a First Amendment problem with that, because as we know with the FBI and Twitter, um, there is a lot of room for um, the federal government to sway voters, uh, especially because we know that the Democratic National Committee is on TikTok and they used it quite effectively. Um, I think that we either need to ban TikTok or we need to assure that it's sold to American parties who control the algorithm. That's the only acceptable solution, the only two acceptable solutions on TikTok. And we need to do it right away because the national security threats are evident. Gordon Chang, as always, pleasure to have you in. Thank you so much for your analysis. Thank you so much, Bianca. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you as well. No crooked, crooked establishment. establishment. None of that twisting, twisting the truth. truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to don't think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.